yet another LED lamp from eBay. This one is apparently three watts, and let's take a let's take a look inside it. Um, easy to open, exploding live connections. That's a minor technicality. You've just come to expect sort of death trap stuff from China. That's okay. Inside there's a small circuit board with ten surface mount LEDs in it, and that is just held in by plastic clips. And when you unclip it. There's a bit of heat shrink sleeving just sits as a wee insulator between the uh, power supply circuit board and the LED circuit board. The LED circuit board, interestingly, is an aluminium substrate circuit board, which is quite nice. That will certainly dissipate the heat a bit better. Um, the power supply is a standard capacitive dropper with a smoothing capacitor. So let's uh, take a look at the schematic. Here we go. So, supposedly 3 watt. Uh, mains in, 240 volt in this case. It starts off with a 47 ohm resistor, um, limiting in rush current. A 820 nanofarad capacitor, which is actually quite a high value, with a 1 meg ohm discharge resistor across it. Uh, it goes through a bridge rectifier, a discrete bridge rectifier, just standard uh, 1N4007 style diodes. Comes out smoothing capacitor. Um, uh, with a 470k discharge resistor, a tiny little 470k discharge resistor, but that's directly ac across the LEDs. Um, so technically speaking, there are 10 LEDs, roughly 3 volts um, per LED, so the maximum voltage across this capacitor is going to be about 30 volts. Now normally, and the resistor course, now normally there'd be a resistor in the output as well to try and limit the ripple a wee bit, but um, in this case, it must just be relying on the fact there is a slight knee voltage with um, the uh, gallium nitride LEDs. And uh, so they, they basically just have it stuck across this capacitor. And uh, I did swish the light about a little bit while it was lit. And there's very little ripple, if anything, on the output. It wasn't really noticeable. So that works. I did the maths. The formula to calculate the equivalent, you can calculate the equivalent resistance of a capacitor using the formula for capacitive reactants, which is x equals 1 over 2 pi fc. And that, for the 820 nanofarad capacitor at 50 hertz, gave an equivalent resistance for calculation purposes of 3,900 ohms. When you calculate based on the 30 volts across the LEDs, uh, a 1 volt across the uh, rectifier, and working out roughly about 2.5 volts dropped across this resistor, I calculated it would come out to about 1.8 watts, and when I tested it with the parameter, it did indeed come out at 1.8 watts. So not 3 watts after all, but still, you know, it's an okay lamp. It, it seems to do the job okay. Um, and it's quite unusual that the circuit board's just clipped in and the aluminium substrate. Yeah, odd.